Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to tell you how to revert back to the stock recovery from the custom recovery, which is TWRP recovery. So in order to flash the custom rooms, we just need to install the TWRP recovery. But in order to revert back or downgrade your stock UI, you just need to be on stock recovery. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to revert back to the stock recovery. So friends, first of all, you just need to have the platform tools. So we have just extracted this and you will get a file here. So just click on the platform tools and you just need to open the CMD. So just open the command prompt. So now we just need to do one thing friends. So we just need to switch off your mobile phone so let me just uh, switch off my mobile phone and we just need to be in the fast boot mode so let me just uh, switch off my mobile phone as you can see right now it is switched off so I just need to press all the three buttons at a time so that it will boot into the fast boot mode so as you can see now it is redirected or rebooted into the fast boot mode so now I will connect my mobile phone to the system so let me just connect my mobile phone to the system here so i'm just i will just connect my mobile phone to the system so as you can see right now i have just uh, bring that usb cable and connected my mobile phone to the get my mobile phone to the system you just need to do one thing so here in the platform tools you just need to follow some instructions so let me just do one thing so uh, this is the same as uh, the uh, flashing the custom recovery so you just need to do fast boot flash recovery and i will provide you a stock recovery in the description so you just need to download that stock recovery and you just need to drag that from here to here so once you've done that just click on enter okay so here as you can see i have just entered the incorrect command so that is the reason it's uh, not showing as i have just entered fast boot so that is the reason it's not taking that so just do one thing fast boot flash recovery and we just need to drag this stock recovery from here to here and click on enter so once you click on enter so it will just send the recovery here and it will be done and as you can see here so this is uh, something is going on here so once you've done that you need to do again one more thing which is fast boot reboot recovery once you click on fast boot reboot recovery it will be go to the stock recovery so let's see whether it will be into the stock recovery or not so let me just uh, show you that so i have just unplugged this so it will just reboot to the stock recovery So friends, you just need to click on English here and you can just reboot to the system. But as you have just done, I mean, as you have restored your stock recovery from the custom room, I mean, from the custom recovery, it is better to wipe data and format data. So it will show you a code here, 6295. So there will be different, different codes. So just click on format. So once you click on the format and done, it will be rebooted into the system so as you can see now it is getting rebooted into the system so we have successfully flashed or installed the stock recovery from the custom recovery so this is the procedure and so sorry for my voice friends actually uh, i mean i just need to move here and there to capture the video so sorry for that so please bear with me regarding this issue so it will be restarted into the system and the stock recovery is installed so why you need to install the stock recovery is because we need to flash or downgrade to a15 or some firmware so that is the reason it should be into the stock recovery so thank you so much for watching have a good day take care